Now question 2a, write fractions. Now one half. So one half means it's one upon two. Now the second question. One, this, this circle has four parts. One, two, three and four. And one part is shaded. So the answer will be one, four or one fourth. Quarter. So quarter always means 1 upon 4. So 1 upon 4 or 1 fourth. 3 fifth. So 3 fifth means 3 upon 5. Now this is a triangle. Now let's see how many parts are there. 1, 2, 3, 4. So 4 parts are there and how many are shaded? 1 and 2. So 2 upon 4 or two-fourth. Now, number six. Now, this is a square. It has four parts and three parts are shaded. So, again, the answer over here, three upon four or three-fourth. Question 2a. Add the following fractions. Over here, 2 upon 4 plus 1 upon 4. Now you can see that the denominators are the same. So we just need to add the numerators. So to make our work easy, let's do like this. 2 plus 1 divided by 4 or upon 4. So 2 plus 1 is 3. So 3 upon 4. The second question, 3 upon 9 plus 2 upon 9. So here again, what we'll do Let's make the denominators common. So 3 plus 2 upon 9. So 3 plus 2 is 5. 5 upon 9. The third question. 1 upon 5 plus 2 upon 5. So again over here. Let's make the denominators common. So 1 plus 2 upon 5. So it is 3 upon 5. Now 2 upon 6 plus 1 upon 6. So 2 plus 1 upon 6. So the answer is... 3 upon 6. Now, 3 upon 8 plus 1 upon 8. So here again, let's make the denominator common. So 3 plus 1 upon 8 is 4 upon 8. Number 6, 5 upon 10 plus 2 upon 10. So 5 plus 2 upon 10. That is 5 plus 2 is 7, 7 upon 10. 1 upon 3 plus 1 upon 3. So 1 plus 1 upon 3. So, 2 upon 3 is the answer. And 2 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7. So, 2 plus 4 upon 7. So, 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 upon 7 is the answer. So, now let's start with question C. Subtract the following fractions. So, here also in all the questions you can see that the denominators are the same. So, similarly like in addition we made the denominators common and we just added the numerators over here also we will just make the denominators common and we will only subtract the numerators for example the first question is 4 upon 5 minus 2 upon 5 so 4 minus 2 upon 5 is equal to 2 upon 5 that is 4 minus 2 is 2 the second question, 6 upon 8 minus 3 upon 8. So again, we'll first make the denominators common. So we'll write 6 minus 3 upon 8. So 6 minus 3 is 3. So 3 upon 8 is the answer. Now, third question, 5 upon 9 minus 2 upon 9. So again, let's make the denominators common. So 5 minus 2 upon 9. So 5 minus 2 is 3. So 3 upon 9 is the answer. Now, question number 4, 7 upon 10 minus 2 upon 10. So, here again, let's make the denominators common. So, first we'll write 7 minus 2 and then upon 10. Now, 7 minus 2 is 5. So, 5 upon 10 is the answer. Question number 5, 3 upon 4 minus 1 upon 4. So, here again, let's make the denominators common. So, 3 minus 1 upon 4. So, 3 minus 1 is... 2 upon 4.